Good morning, Hoover Math and Science Academy students and staff. Hi, this is Caitlin coming to you live from the WHBR studio. Today is Friday, January 10th, 2020. The weather today in Schaumburg will be 46 degrees with rainy skies. Now please stand and join us in saying our nation's pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In sports, the Blackhawks lost last night against the Predators with a score of 2-5. to five. Today's announcements are, don't forget, today is Zero Waste Lunch. Now a message from Mrs. Rosenblum and Mrs. Fry. Good morning, Hoover Math and Science Academy staff and students. Happy Friday. I am going to start with celebrations as usual. Our first round of celebrations has to do with champions. These people were champions for bravery and for courage. And I wanted to definitely send a special shout out to all of our students and our staff who were willing to go up in front of the whole school and participate in a dance competition with the Windy City Bulls. Um, boys and girls, I think it was a great experience because I know for some people that was totally their thing. Like that was their moment to shine and they were so excited about it. But boys and girls, guess what? For some students and even for some teachers, whoa, their hearts started to race. They got really nervous. They started to sweat and they got really worried about how it was going to go because that wasn't their most comfortable thing to do. So I am just so proud with the courage and the bravery they had to go up there and to be willing to try and to take that risk and make that effort. And I know that students are champions every day because while for some people dancing in front of the whole school was a big challenge, for other people sometimes doing math is a really big challenge or sometimes reading is a big challenge. So I love that we all write, are willing to take those risks and try because that's what makes us better and helps us learn and grow. So a huge shout out to Ethan from third grade, Charlotte from third grade, Ishi from first grade, Harold, Kyle, and Olivia, and also all of our sixth graders. And for our staff, an extra huge shout out to Miss Bernacki, Mrs. Goodell, Mr. Shop, Ms. Grusard, and Mrs. Koberman. Way to go, team. All right, and it's Friday, which means Woo! it's Smetzel Day! Yay! So we have some celebrations. Before we start reading all the names, I wanted to shout out to Ryan from Mrs. Budney. You are always so positive and hardworking in class. Keep it up. Mrs. Smith says that Tanisha is, thank you for offering meaningful insight in our shared reading discussions. Nice job adding to those discussions in school. Nick, thank you for always having lunch and a positive attitude from Mrs. Kazowitz. And Emily and Katerina, thank you for being such wonderful helpers to our new student. You made her feel so warm and welcome from Mrs. Noveral. That was so kind of you. And then we have some more Smensel winners. All right, Jacob from 206, Pranav from 207, Adam from 204, Ryan and Joshua from 119, Tanish from 112, Durwa and Ame from 111, Mrs. Meza, Nick from room 110, Katarina, Alan, Emily from room 101, Lachlan room 111, Diana and Isha from 105, Anya and Myrna from 201, Calvin from 107, Antonio from 214, Stone from 111, Beatrice and Audrey from 207. Allison, Isma, and Daniel also from 207. Ane from 108. Anish from 118. Mrs. Cangelosi, congratulations. Sloka and Adrian from 106. Congratulations to all of our Smensel winners. We're so excited for you. All right, and it's Friday, so it is time for our school song.
hands together. Thank you, Mrs. Rosenblum and Mrs. Fry. This week's announcements were brought to you by the Frappuccino Goats. Have a frozen Frappuccino Friday. <laughs>